Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Um, today is uh, just a few days before the Lunar New Year. And uh, I want to wish you, you know, Happy New Year here. Uh, today's speaker, United speaker, is Professor Dong Jing uh, Dong. Um, he's, um, he's, he's, he's director of the Coastal Ocean Monitoring Center at the, at the uh, National Qinggong University in Taiwan. And he is also a professor at the Department of Hydraulic and Ocean uh, Engineering. Um, professor Dong, he received his uh, PhD degree from, um, from the same university, uh, that is a uh, National Chinggu uh, University. Uh, and uh, I think that this department has a very distinguished history. Uh, it, in fact, it's so distinguished, I want to Went to study there. <laughs> where I was like, trying to go into graduate stu uh, graduate study, uh, undergraduate study. Unfortunately, you know, I did not make it. Uh, so I I I make make it up by inviting him you know, to give the talk. <laughs> um, the um, Professor Dong's uh, specialty is on um, as you had seen from the from the from the title of the talk is on the coastal zone um, asset management. And 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 uh, and observations, and this is a very important topic, uh, and, and getting more and more important because of the climate change situation, um, and for Taiwan, which is surrounded by ocean, you know, so it's also very important. In fact, not just important, very very urgent, uh, and therefore, of uh, course, Dong's Institute play a very important role in this respect in this uh, area, and uh, let's listen to what what Professor Dong is going to tell us. Yeah, Professor Dong, it's all yours now. Thank you, Professor Ed. Now I share my screen. Okay, I hope you can see my first screen. Um, okay, um, so uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Dong. Uh, as Professor Ip uh, introduced, uh, I'm from the National Chengkong University in south of Taiwan. So it's my great pleasure uh, to be invited to give uh, a talk uh, today. It's only a few days to Chinese New Year. So I will talk our experience on the establishment of course ocean monitoring uh, network in Taiwan. So uh, Professor Yip already introduced me a little bit, so I will not to talk too much on my past experience. Um, I was your assistant professor in year 2007 in National Taiwan Ocean University is in north of Taiwan. And I moved to current university in uh, 2015 and, uh, and then promoted to full professor after 12 years, yeah. So I'm currently the director of the uh, Coast Ocean Monitoring Center. And this center uh, is a research center in within National Chengkong University. <clears throat> Such kind of uh, research center in this university, I think we have around 70, that's many. And we are not small, but maybe not biggest one, but also not small, we are um, <clears throat> totally uh, currently has around 30 uh, full-time employees. And uh, our uh, the uh, objective of this center is to investigate and study on the latest marine observation uh, techniques. And we have the government and even some private uh, uh, company to set up and operate of operation the long-term material oceanography uh, stations. So um, today, I my talk, I will divide two, three parts. Uh, the first part, I will introduce you the uh, problem, the situation, the development at the coast or coast ocean of Taiwan. <clears throat> and the second part, I will talk about the system integration uh, to develop the measurement instrumentations. And uh, the last part, I uh, talk a little bit on the use, how to use of the uh, the data uh, we measured. 
So uh, my talk today is, I can say, not very in uh, in deep into specific topic. It's very in, in more in general uh, description of this uh, set of these stations. So, but many part we can go in very detail. So maybe next time, if still change, I can give you another talk. So first part, I the problem and development at the coast of, coast ocean of Taiwan. First, we uh, look at the sea conditions around Taiwan. So the coastline of uh, the Taiwan main island is around southern six hundred kilometers. Uh, so the north is East China Sea and south is South China Sea, and your crossover currents flow through uh, East Taiwan waters. And the eastern part of Taiwan. A main island, uh, the, the water depth is uh, very uh, quickly uh, drop to find something even deeper. And the slope in the eastern part is very steep, uh, up to one to 10. And the tidal difference is not, not big, it's 1.5 meters in the eastern part, but in the western part, in the Taiwan Strait part, is uh, four meter tidal changes, uh, tidal range. And the web high in the eastern part because there's no shadow. So when, uh, especially during typhoons, the maxima web high reach 20 meter is not not is often. And but the, in the Taiwan Strait, if, when the web high reach 10 meter, already very mass, mass already mass, uh, very large. So and uh, how is the Taiwanese coast looks like? Actually, in different part of Taiwanese coast nine, there are different uh, features. Uh, you see here in the north coast, there are a rocky coast, many rocky coasts. In the eastern part of Taiwan is a cliff and also rock and rock beach. In the south uh, part of Taiwan is a cliff or uh, coast nine. And most of the uh, population in Taiwan live in the western part from north to south around uh, 400 kilometers. Uh, there are uh, sandy beach, uh, lagoons, uh, sand dunes, uh, wetlands, and the river uh, uh, flow from central mountains, flow many flow to uh, Taiwan Strait. So there are a lot of uh, big rivers uh, in uh, uh, su uh, su supply the uh, sand to the coastal area. So now I can say the most serious problem for the for Taiwanese coast is uh, erosion problem. In some areas, accumulation, but mostly uh, erosion. And the cause for uh, coast erosion, uh, we can divide to uh, two uh, category. One is a uh, long-term uh, nature process. Uh, like this, uh, pandemic change is long term uh, uh, influence, and the river, estuary division, sediment transport, and this or uh, uh, the wind web, uh, current, uh, current tide climate. Uh, this, uh, and for sh uh, short term, uh, short term means a decay scale or even year scale. That's a human interference, like we construct the harbors. Uh, we make the reclamations, we build a dam in upstream of the rivers, and we uh, all the human induced land subsidence and even sand uh, drainage. So, uh, both long term influence and the uh, short term influence uh, 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 in, uh, in impact for the cost. Uh, of Taiwan. For example, here I show you two photos. Uh, that's only around 10 years different. Uh, for this case in Thailand, there's one harbor uh, in uh, up in downstream area uh, built. And after 10 years, few years, I, I forget how many years, but very short time, uh, uh, this area uh, eroded very much. So it's human interference. And typhoons, uh, you see here, Taiwan is just not tech in the main uh, path of uh, typhoons in North Pacific area. Uh, the red color means very strong typhoon, category five, category four. And 
uh, Central Waiter Bureau of Taiwan uh, say that in average, uh, 3.5 typhoons port in Taiwan every year, but sometimes more, but in recent few years, they are less. It's the average number, 3.5. And Taiwan will bring heavy rain, extreme wet, uh, very high uh, sea water level, the strong surges, and also strong wind. And here are some records. Uh, the first, the up here, show you the rainfall records. Um, the one hour month might reach even reach 300 millimeter uh, rainfall. This uh, record in the typhoon to June in year 2003. And three deaths almost reached 3,000. So, so much rainfall. Uh, if the sea seaside, the sea water level is, is also high, this uh, rainfall will not uh, flow. Uh, it's not possible to flow into uh, the sea. Therefore, the coastal area will be, will be flooded. And uh, the record of significant wet high around Taiwan is ocean is uh, 23.9 meter. It's significant wet. Uh, we measure in uh, 2007 in Typhoon during Typhoon Corosa and storm storm surge one point almost one point eight meter. So um, in addition to typhoons, typhoon always come in summertime. And another is the winter, winter monsoon. Uh, typhoon always influence the coast area for one day to three days, three days, really take short time. And monsoon, like now, uh, now is uh, January is most serious uh, strong monsoon period. The cold wind coming from northern China and uh, bring the wave and high water level. For example, in the left hand side, I show you the set by image just I acquired uh, this afternoon. So that's currently there's one cold uh, wind coming from north. So we can see the lower panel, there's uh, the web high, significant web high in one station north of Taiwan. Actually last, e last evening already reached four meter uh, significant web high. Sometimes during typhoons for this station, it even not reach four meter, but the monsoon wind uh, can trigger the sea state to reach such severe sea state. So monsoon is also another uh, influence impact to the coast, and this monsoon is a uh, uh, cannot say long term, but uh, longer than typhoon influence. It's uh, sometimes one one season is around one week, and for whole monsoon is uh, one season is three months. So sea level rise, sure, is important for Taiwan. It rise to six meter. You see. Many coast area will be flooded, and 50 meter. I think when the sea level rise to 50 meter, my university already gone. We are somewhere here, and 25 meter is become sure much much more serious. And but I believe we were not uh, really like this because we uh, the government have made a lot of uh, protection uh, measures already. So we're maybe not serious like this, but still serious. But compared to sea level rise, uh, I can say Taiwanese government may, may be more concerned on this uh, problem, the land subsidence. So um, the land subsidence, that, that's be, especially south of Taiwan, that's because the local farmer, they pump groundwater for aquaculture, like this. And they pump too much in the past uh, 30, 40 years. So the 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 the, the house, the country made a heavy house sink to the dam. As you see in this photo, this one, you see the normally this should be the ground floor. To some, I think I estimate this this house sink uh, more than one meter, and this one uh, the same. And you see the kids can reach. Easily reach the roof. So how can you imagine that? How how uh, how many houses sink into the ground? So 
uh, here show some numbers in this numbers as uh, uh, research by 2001 for that until that year uh, uh so sorry for that year the then subsidence rate is uh, 24 millimeter per year to 176 millimeter per year this number uh already more than 10 even 10 times named sea level rise so uh Taiwanese government pay much I can say pay much more to uh to against these then substance problem more than uh sea level right rise and this is uh already 20 years ago I can say that for this problem then subsidence problem uh currently uh I heard from water resource agency, they say already stable, not as serious as before because they pay much and did a lot already. And another is a reclamation. Uh, this reclamation is uh, uh, 30, yeah, 30, 40 years ago, uh, Taiwan is uh, many to develop the economic so build a lot of industry area, uh, especially in the coast area. You see for this one is jumping across the industry park. The total area is uh, 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 36 uh, kilometers square, 36 already uh, one, uh, one of out of uh, a thousand of Taiwanese total area. So we can, you cannot say it's small, it's a big one. So originally in the West Coast Line, there's no such area. And, and by human <coughs> influence, we built this ground. So it, it's broken the balance of nature, especially the nature uh, sand uh, transportation. And we built the dam in the upstream. This is Zhongwen Dam built in 1973. And only a few years later, the the sediment transport uh, decreased around 30 percent from the river to coast area so by this number sure this uh, the the sand supply to coast area reduced so much that so it must some area will be eroded at the cost so this is some number because we are seeing great uh, in taiwan in north uh, around two meter per year and in the in the western part, even the more serious area is uh, more than ten meter per year. Uh, in the south is a little bit less, a little bit less. But the same, this is num this number uh, is uh, around twelve uh, twelve years ago. Uh, water resource engine say already not so much, but still uh, much, still uh, many. And especially for some uh, local area who um, build the harbor uh, or, be, or have some uh, human uh, construction. And for that area will be very serious for most of the area, almost uh, stable. And except the erosion problem and the uh, fishing industry is very popular in Taiwan. Um, Totally, there are more than 300 uh, fishing harbors, such kind of small harbors, not the bigger commercial harbors, small, such kind of small harbors, three, more than three, uh, 300 uh, harbors along the southern 600 kilometer coastline. So many human uh, constructions at the coast. And in recent uh, years, the shipping uh, industry uh, grows very much. And Taiwan is somewhere here, is in, in the main uh, area, <coughs> and main uh, routes of this uh, uh, of the uh, uh, northwest and Pacific uh, area. And and also in the recent years, uh, very high development on ocean recreational activities like surfing, um, yeah, SUP and uh, uh, surfing and 
banana ship and diving. Uh, many people they go to the sea for to to enjoy the sea. Uh, this improve a lot compared to ten or twenty years ago. So and also you know be renewable energy. Uh, to be a start uh, the offshore wind farm. Uh, our government announced uh, this renewable energy will will occupy twenty percent of the total energy supply in two thousand and twenty five. And currently, it's already reached uh, almost eight percent at the end of last year. And the offshore wind farm uh, occupy around one percent. It looks uh, less, but we all know that the government uh, uh, pushed very much to build the offshore wind farm. So this, uh, I, I believe it will, uh, this uh, percentage will increase uh, very quickly in the next few years. So all of these, they need data. So uh, Taiwan was developing from traditional uh, economic first, Economy first means to build many harbors for, for transportation, for fisher, fishing industry, and to build the sea deck to against the flooding. And from, from that uh, point to balance with the economic and eco service. So new type of uh, uh, economic style, like a shipping industry, uh, uh, ocean renewable energy has been um, fastly uh, developing. And so more and more sea transportations are needed and in additional sea uh, recreational activity become very popular nowadays. So working on uh, various para mitigation become uh, mainstream. So all above activities, all above mentioned matters need data. So data are used for engineering deny data assuming that with the numerical model for better marine vector forecasting and also use for building warning system for hard mitigations. So how to uh, solve this problem? Cause problem, there are different approach can by theoretical, by modeling, numerical modeling or uh, indoor physical modeling. And we, uh, I mean, me, myself, and our center, we uh, uh, focus on the observation uh, approach. So the observation can divide into the in-situ measurements and the remote sensing uh, measurements. So in-situ measurements means the, the sensors, the devices uh, with touch seawater. And the remote sensing means is keep some distance. So the a uh, bright yellow color, that's what we has been done or has been built uh, in our center. So we uh, developed the buoy and denied the web gauge array. And we also set up the optical uh, camera and uh, 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 developed the marine data measurement system, which I will later will introduce one by one. So we are not only um, uh, focus on issues we also uh, do something on remote sensing field so we uh system integration that's um i can say all system measurement system can can be can be formed by this uh this um this uh, figure this uh, structure the first you have a have a heart have a kernel uh, control system, we call it a data lock. And we need to have a power supply. We normally for C uh, instrumentation we use a solar panel and charge to battery and use for nighttime. And we need the data transmission system by uh, cell phone system or by satellite system. And uh, what do you want to measure? We you install different kind of sensors on it: the wave sensor, temperature sensor, rain gauge, pressure, current sensor, every everything. So only uh, if we can solve this um, data transmission problem, can solve the power problem. I think any kind of sensor can be installed on on one platform. 
So we the main um, the main uh, devices we we develop is this this buoy. This is developed by ourselves. It's two point five meter and five meter high, one point eight tons. We make the observation every hour, and this is long term operation and real time data transmission. So this buoy can measure uh, where. Web high period, direction, spectrum, wind, temperature, pressure, turn profile is a basic item. And we can also integrate with different uh, sensors, as I mentioned in last slide, that we can install the rain gauge, water quality sensors, ambient noise, uh, hydrophone, and we even we can install a camera to to uh make to uh take some images uh, from the sea. And uh, the main function of the sensor for web measurements, I can say that. And this for these web uh, measurements, we install one uh, motion sensor in the uh, gravity center of the buoy, and we can detect the sixth degree of this buoy motion. And we apply the final Fourier series method to de to derive the direction of web spectrum. There are several. Uh, methods can can derive the direction of spectrum. This final Fourier series me, uh, method we uh, assess is very stable, so that's why we use it in uh, on platform uh, on the buoy uh, calculation. And uh, some years ago, we installed a global navigation satellite system and the GNSS devices. And these devices can measure because it uses a satellite as a base, so we can measure direct the sea surface elevation. By this motion sensor, it's not possible to, to measure the sea level uh, fluctuation, but by uh, when there's a satellite as a base station, uh, by this GNSS, we can uh, detect the sea surface elevation, and we really that with a uh, uh, different sensor that's very good agreement. And so currently there are uh, around uh, 27 buoys by the end of last year, around uh, Taiwanese uh, coast ocean. And the water depth is from 15 meters to 2,600 meters. So this is the deepest one, currently the deepest one is in South North South China Sea. And most of the buoy located at the distance one kilometer to the uh, shoreline to 230 kilometer, that means this one. So um, here are some uh, results. Uh, this is special result that because for this buoy, we equip it with a, a, a captive type rain gauge uh, somewhere here, this white one. So this is the first time we installed rain gauge in a buoy last year, and we measure uh, several uh, rainfall uh, event, and we compare with the uh, nearby uh, dam base rain gauge station, and this um, is in a, a, a very good agreement. So this gives us very uh, high confidence to measure the uh, rainfall in the, from the sea. And we uh, adopt very serious uh, data quality check procedure. We have a regular calibration of the sensors and burning tests and uh, quarterly maintenance and annual maintenance and the data re uh, calibration every year and show very important uh, public awareness. Uh, we should uh, to go to a uh, fisherman area to communicate with them as them to protect or don't damage the buoy at least don't damage okay so um so here I'll show you some other case uh, results is uh, measurements uh during typhoon uh super run in 2015 so you see in the right uh right hand side uh, the panel from up to lower is uh, web high, significant web high, and web period, peak period, and wind speed, and the gas wind speed and direction, temperature, air temperature, uh, and the water temperature and pressure. So for whole uh, time period, around one week, 
Fang when the typhoon generated and to it uh, disappear, the whole period can be detected. So this is very uh, important for not only for engineering denial, also for the scientific scientific research. And such kind of typhoon like this one, uh, typhoon part is category five, it's a very strong one. So the significant web high up to 40 meters, 40 meters. And this one, uh, this typhoon uh, passed through very close to this buoy. The, the measurements is major, uh, the, the data is measured in the buoy uh, here, uh, uh, around 300 to Taiwan coast nine. 300 kilometers, and this one is uh, now part and another one. So, um, so we I, I can say this this buoy is very strong because it can survive under such a uh, severe sea state at meter 10 meter 15 meter and can measure the whole time series of the data and can. Uh, real time trace back to this data to the center and we forward it to the governmental institutions. So the successful, successful rate is quite high. And this one is very special one. I always want to uh, show you this one because this uh, is measurements during Typhoon Jurat, uh, Jurabat uh, in year 2012, September. Uh, this Typhoon direct uh, goes through uh, the buoy this buoy. So you see the red, red one. The red one, you see the first peak, that means the typhoon first uh, touch the buoy, and then buoy is inside the typhoon eyes. And when the typhoon leave, the second, and then when the, in the inside typhoon eyes, the sea state, the web height drop. But when a few hours later, the typhoon uh, uh, leaving, the typhoon ice wall touch the buoy, the second uh, web price uh, increase. So this made us can make some research on the how is the sea bed inside or say near the typhoon ice. So we correct uh, in the past 20 years, we correct more than 100 typhoon records by different buoys. And some years ago, I I organized it. I find there are nine of these records. Nine of the measurements are inside or near typhoon ice. The average radius of Masma wind is uh, 47 kilometers. So typhoon for this Jalapa, I think it's only 10 meter to typhoon ice. So we, uh, I make some uh, for some figures for this one. There are different. Uh, different data set and, uh, and the different uh, web high. You see the uh, red one is strong web high and the inner circle is a uh, typhoon area. And this uh, in, uh, in the center is typhoon. And the, in this circle is the uh, 47 uh, radius of Masma wind. So it's very interesting because we, most people know uh, or think inside typhoon there's no wind. And even they are very good weather because there's no wind, there's, uh, there's no storm inside. So if there's no wind, and the sea state should be very cramped or not so uh, severe. But we find the significant wave height is uh, still four to eight meter inside typhoon ice. And we read that already, they are swell. They are not generated by local wind, it's uh, propagated from uh, near the typhoon ice wall. And even the, uh, in one typhoon, uh, uh, super typhoon, category five super typhoon, the significant type within the typhoon ice even reached 16 meter, 15.7. And the mean average is uh, 8.3. So inside typhoon ice looks not so, Frame. Okay. That's what we, uh, we we find up to now. I think this is uh, an ongoing study. We are going to announce some more uh, phenomena inside the Taipong ice. And 
by the same system integration um, uh, way, we also develop have ever developed this uh, shipon auto weather system. This can support uh, volunteer observation ship can install in uh, this such kind of cargo ship and can uh, measure uh, the weather elements automatically and send back to the uh, then base station the uh, crew not necessary to record to observate uh, manually this can be make uh, can be done automatically and we also uh, develop this title station and the special things to mention is this title uh, label measurements we always use one hertz sampling rate and but traditionally uh, is always uh, output every six minutes every six minutes average C level but this is uh, developed by ourselves so we can um, output every samples every data that means one second there's two data so every data point interval interval between two data points so only 0.5 seconds this gives uh, the probability to detect the tsunami by six mi six minutes uh, uh, average water level is not possible for tsunami detect because tsunami comes is for the uh, the the, the fluctuation is very short time for example here this is a tsunami a tonga tsunami uh, last year and this uh, tsunami can uh, purple get to taiwan we also detect some signal in the eastern in the tidal station located the eastern part here two case this is city uh you see this uh two days uh uh, uh tidal uh, fluctuation and remove the train you see this uh, tsunami uh, fluctuation is uh, in the in the lower panel is uh, city is Fukang. it's not not much not very high around uh mass mouth of 50 centimeter uh, fluctuation and then Fukang is uh a little bit larger which more than one meter and the next one we develop this uh we we uh use this uh, navigation data like this is a research vessel ocean research number two and not only this one every uh navigation data we can acquire the sea clutter from the lake data control system for navigation purpose uh, this sea clutter should be removed, but we want to detect the sea state, so we need the sea clutter. So we go to uh, acquire from this uh, data control uh, unit uh, to be the uh, sea state monitoring uh, function. So we use uh, this most of the ship uh, from radar, they use uh, S band in the microwave band, like research vessel, the vessel from Costco, all use the same. So this is marine radar is within this one. And this radar has very um, strong uh, break scatter from the system. So it's very, uh, uh, pro uh, very good devices to detect the system. So this is the data we use, the spec of data we use, nine gigahertz in, in S band and is uh, 36 runs per second. Uh, faster of this uh, radar rotation, uh, the better uh, resolution in time domain. And we uh, detect, uh, 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 develop this by ourselves. The main the kernel part is this image process. The image process is that we uh, acquire the best scatter from the sea state. We transfer, transfer it to so-called image spectra. This transformation currently we use uh, three-dimensional Fourier transfer, but we also we have ever used the three-dimensional web data transfer. Uh, that both of different kind of transformation can work, but have different uh, effect. So the image spectrum can compare uh, with the calibrate with the institute measurements 
to uh, to to find a, a, a web parameters. And that's one way. Another way you can uh, research on this uh, motivational transformation function can uh, transfer the image spectrum to web spectrum. When you have web web spectrum, you can derive the parameters. So and this is the filter to to fill the image spectrum to uh, signal to noise ratio. Uh, there's a dispersion relationship in the web theory. Uh, the basic concept is that only the signal can satisfy by dispersion relation. That means uh, nearby this uh, shift. For the others, there are noise. Only the signal is in this uh, part. They are uh, that belongs to web signal. So therefore, we can by this filter we can derive the signal to noise ratio, and uh, to calibrate this signal to noise ratio with the real uh, with the in situ data, we can obtain the parameter uh, web parameters. So we have ever um, installed this data system in uh, not this one, but in the other ship. We went to South China Sea to detect this. You see this is moving this the internal web. This internal web in South China Sea is in 2006 already long time ago. And by this radar, it's not like a satellite. So I can only have one snap uh, uh, shot of the images. And the morning uh, can have the in, in the deep in uh, have the time domain in uh, underwater, but this radar, marine radar, can detect the movement, transportation of this internal web. By this uh, case, we find it's 3.2 knots of this, this case, this internal web we detect. So we also install, we, we also uh, install it in a van and we can set up this system within two hours. So this van can move everywhere. Uh, to detect a uh, typhoon or detect anything uh, we are interested. For this, like this one, we went to Arambi to detect the web and Chenggong is typhoon case, I remember, and the uh, Rongdong. So especially if we see the right, right, uh, left hand side, this uh, Arambi case, you see very uh, clear differentiation of the, of the web pattern. So when we for that area, we have one buoy in the red, uh, red point here. So one single measurements can detect one uh, data, but for such non-homogeneous cost area, uh, this uh, this number, this uh, this parameter cannot replace the whole area. So this uh, this uh, this uh, radar measurements can. Uh, satisfied with these requirements. This, the radar me measurements can uh, observe different area and they are the, the web high periods, uh, even web direction or difference for different area. That is uh, the best way to describe the uh, web condition at such high homogeneous, non-homogeneous cost area. And we also detect the surface current and the vegetation by radar is, is fine. It's very uh, good agreements. So now totally 16 stations uh, in Taiwan, mostly in North and South and in the offshore islands, such kind of radar. And we also uh, set up 12 stations, uh, uh, coast watch uh, video stations like this and like this, different type. This uh, coast watch, uh, this video station is for wave run up and over in monitoring, and also for cost free wave monitoring and good current monitoring. Uh, like uh, here there is some small film we, uh, we, find, we, we take from these stations. Uh, you, you see some people, they are fishing there. Uh, in Taiwan, the fishing um, population, people say there are more than three uh, million, maybe five million. And they sometimes they are in very dangerous uh, situation. So we try to 
uh, build some warning system for them. So this this video, uh, this video we we use this data to to uh, build a warning system, and not only this we call it frequent or say log wave. Not only frequent, but also recurrent. I'm not sure. Can you see there's some uh, strong current flow from the cost line to the offshore? So that this is called recurrent. It's a strong, narrow, and concentrated flow from the cost line to the offshore. And this uh, strong, this current speed is quite high. So if uh, the people swimming or any activities in the sea and uh, and pushed by this recurrent sometimes. And, and if they want to throw a swimming back, sometimes they will waste their energy and drop into the sea and that. So this very serious situation in Taiwan, and here's another one. So we, uh, by this situation, we uh, help the governmental institution to build several uh, systems for different, uh, different government uh, government institutions, they have, they have their uh, different duty, like the Central Weather Bureau, they, uh, their duty is for marine weather forecast, like Water Resource Agency in Taiwan, they're, cost, they're, they're in charge of cost protection, cost protein, mitigation, uh, the National Academy of Marine Research, now they are, they, they work on the uh, external mitigation for ocean recreational activities, like Harbor and Marine Technology Center, they, they're in charge of the Navy sef uh, safety. So all such, uh, all, all, all of these uh, governmental institutions, we uh, have cooperation with them. Uh, like Central Weather Bureau, they direct for the real-time data. This, I think this I take from this morning. Uh, their real-time data on the uh, website, their website, everyone, uh, even from foreign country, they can, you can, you can uh, check the real-time system at the stations. And some years ago, 2003, this typhoon, I think is uh, very terrible, high typhoon, high yen, is not go to Taiwan, but uh, pass through Philippines and induce very serious damage in Philippines. And Taiwan is, Still, sound and four hundred kilometer kilometer away from there, but also uh, bring very huge uh, uh, damage uh, uh, to Taiwan because there are sixteen uh, university students work on the coast coast area and they are swapped into the sea by long swell by long swell because this Taiwan is very strong, so long swell can propagate from there to Taiwan and. And for that, at that day, the weather condition is very nice. The very sunshine in November in Taiwan, the weather is still very nice, but so people cannot image uh, such long swell coming. So that's why the after that, uh, Central Weather Bureau asked us to build this safe sea uh, station, uh, not station, the safe sea system to integrate the model and also the long period wave warning and put it in this system. And we also integrate the satellite imagery, the medical model, a different kind of data. And can everyone can uh, check on this homepage, especially for these long periods with uh, monitoring. For water resource agency, they, uh, they are in charge of this uh, cost protein. So we uh, set up this system for them, cost watch information system and to uh, derive, derive the sea level for if different uh, city in the western part of Taiwan, in the eastern part of Taiwan. And we also uh, investigate the sea type elevation when the total water level has potential to over this uh, sea type elevation. And here you can see they will become red. And so this uh, central government will know which area they are dangerous uh, has a potential for overtopping. And they, uh, so we in integrate the real-time data model and the live video. So these are, so here's the estimation of the sea level. And for uh, national <clears throat> academic 
of marine research. They are in charge to service for ocean re recreation of people. So uh, we built this uh, goal ocean platform. So maybe we'll ask uh, what's the difference of this goal ocean with the uh, central battlefield, draw field, uh, sea. They are quite different um, uh, users. For this one is for public, for uh, surfing, sailing, and diving, even diving, the oceanic activities. For central battlefield one, they are for, for uh, navigation, many for navigation. So different. Um, governor is using the build different uh, platform, different system for different users. So currently, I uh, many uh, study on web and current reactive others. So we build also build several warning system for local web for rip currents. But I think I my time is not enough, so. I will ask, uh, I, I think I will skip most of them, just show you uh, the, 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 the final inter interface. This is the brick web probabilities forecast system for open sea. So we see in the Northwestern uh, Pacific Ocean, we derive this uh, uh, probability of brick web accuracy for different area. So uh, this is for navigation. So this uh, freak web can has very uh, serious impact for ship navigation. We already collect many many uh, ship wreck uh, records due to uh, this high web or sudden happen freak web. This for for ocean and for the coast area. You see there are already many many cases. Uh, people ride their scooter on the breakwater. I don't know why he write it there, but he did write it there and, and hit by a, a, a coastal frequent, this one. And here in the middle part, the same, there are some people they go fishing there, they drive their car, park on the breakwater, but they are this car, they are four one, but only one because they are an, an, another three are in the water. So they are uh, 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 swapped into the sea by uh, freak web, coastal freak web, they are the same. So, and many, many uh, local media every summer, especially summertime, that report many accidents. So, that's why the government uh, institution they are here on this very much. And we built the warning system by uh, data mining technology to integrate it with data. Uh, model data and the drawing records. Uh, we use uh, any artificial network, uh, support vector mechanics and random forecast for risk, such kind of data mining methods to build uh, uh, a probability forecast model. This is the few uh, interface of this model. Sorry, it's in Chinese. They are for different cost area. We forecast for next uh, 12 hours, 18 hours, 24 hours, the probability for one certain cost area. How is the uh, probability of uh, break web, uh, cost break web occurrence? And we define if this probability is a higher than 70%, this red, this red line, then we will uh, announce to the monitoring people in Central Beta Bureau, and then they will do something later. So um, very quickly to summer, summary in my talk. Uh, so this self-developed ocean measurements information has been installed in Taiwanese waters since 1997 to collect a, a very huge number of data for various applications for different applications. So um, from the request of hard mitigation, these measurements need to be real time, real time data, data uh, transmission. Not for research, for research purpose, maybe we can download the data at a certain time interval, but for uh, real time is a necessary uh, request. And this self development. Uh, devices bring us very uh, huge benefit because we can download, uh, we can 
uh, acquire the raw data. Raw data sometimes is very important for researcher. And we can also control the data quality. Uh, some commercial devices, we don't know how they process this data, but these uh, devices we develop by ourselves, we know every step. And long-term operation is a minimal requirements for the request of a national level uh, data, uh, ocean database, and also bring help for scientific research. We are sometimes we have some data, but only one month or two months, but here we can obtain 20 years, 10 years, 20 years, uh, time series is bring very large help for our research work. Thank you very much. I think I will use too much time. And so I accelerate my speed a little bit. I hope you can understand what I uh, want to talk. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Professor Dong. Uh, very, very detailed and interesting talk and very informative. And then I think we are all impressed by your, your, your self-developed technique. <clears throat> that means you can always improve, you know, uh, on your on your on your instrument, which is very important. Uh, any questions from the audience? Uh, you could uh, just uh, turn on the mic and ask the question, or write 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 the question down that, for us to read. And I I can see a number of experts here, or, you know, joining us. Uh, maybe I I would like to introduce them to to you if I. I, you know, the one I, I know, you know, I mean, there, there are several uh, names uh, which I, I have seen them before, but I don't have not met them. So I would I would ask them again uh, later on. And maybe I could ask um, uh, uh, Dr. Dong Ju Pan. Yeah, hello. Uh, hello. 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 Uh, thanks, Professor Dong, for your for your talk. Sorry, I missed the first part of the talk. So I have a very basic question. So, so how do you maintain your buoys? Oh, we we go we okay. Uh, we arrange the maintenance plan for each buoy, and normally we uh, retrieve replace the buoy once per year. To like like car, you have to go back to the factory to 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 maintain not maybe not repair but just to repair to make it have a very good health good function so we went there by sure by by versa and better to take this research versa but in Taiwan is not easy because you have to reach it a long uh, very long time ago um, so mostly we use a fishing fishing boat. It's more quick. We can arrange. We we can have this boat very quickly. Every maybe every day or every two days. So we we have one team, um, twelve persons, um, um, in charge of the buoy maintenance. Yeah, it's the same. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, um, I can see uh, maybe I'm interested in, in meeting um, uh, Mr. I don't know the, uh, whether you are here. It's Abum Ampun Ding 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 Tang from Malaysia. Are you there? Hello. Yes. Uh, very good afternoon. Huh? Sorry, yeah, because yeah, I, just I, joined, I, joined, I joined this uh, uh, quite late, so maybe half uh, halfway from uh, your presentations. But but I got some questions that uh, how, how do you did you do your what it calls uh, verification for your forecast web forecast and if you do that uh, what are the on site data that you refer to um, today my talk I more focus on the measurements but actually indeed we also develop a um, uh, forecast from model uh, uh, by ourselves the web model current current model. Uh, but but today I didn't talk too much. And this uh, remote format we validated by our um, uh, major data. Um, we we firstly we use a default parameter of that model developed when they are this all, all most of the model they were suggest or have some default parameter. But when we compare with the measurements data, they, if there are some uh, bias, we will adjust, attune the parameters when to reach the best agreements with the uh, the, the 
measurements. So um, currently we, uh, we, we main, mainly work on measurements, but also the model, and we also cooperate with some other scholars who more uh, major in numerical models. If we have the models, if we have the uh, measurements, I think it's very good, can understand the current situation and can forecast the future conditions on ocean web, current, everything. Yes. Thank yeah, you. thank you. And uh, Professor Dong, you can read in the email or uh, in chat box, yes. there's a, a, uh, a question to you. Um, That's a great um, topic. Send data link in email. Uh, work on that. Uh, by note, uh, hello, Mr. Art Hikari. Uh, what data link you need? I I I didn't write in my slides uh, openly, but I asked my our. Uh, governmental institution already, if uh, for research purpose, we can uh, provide uh, some data for research purpose, no problem, <clears throat> but not possible for uh, commercial use. But I, I believe most of, the, most of you are used for research purpose. So uh, if you need any kind of data, C-level data, web data, you can please write email to me, I can send you. <clears throat> right. If you, you uh, by the way, if, uh, those who want to write to Professor Dong, if you don't have the email, uh, you could write to us, you know, and I could pass the information to him. You know, I'm sure the Professor Dong will be very happy to talk to you, cooperate with you. And this is also the purpose of this work working group anyway. Uh, and then uh, I see uh, Anoru, Anoru Chokwuma. Cho Do you have a question or you want to have any, any suggestion uh, comments? Uh, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I don't have any question. Good okay. presentation. Yeah. By the way, uh, where are you from? I'm from Nigeria, but presently in Japan. Okay. And then I see a Dira Mu VNT Waman. Are you there? Do you have questions? Dila? Um, if not, um, then the, let me check uh, the um, Jonathan Kabila. Are you there, Jonathan? If you have no question, then I will pass you. Uh, and then there's an Hasim Nasim Hamsek. Nas Hello, everyone. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes. yes, yes. Uh, thank you for a uh, nice talking. Uh, I am Nassim. I work in uh, on the storm in the Middle East, and um, I enjoy from your talk, but uh, it is... Uh, <laughs> uh, thank you for everything. Uh, I'm not a specialist in uh, on uh, your area. Thank you. Okay, thank you for coming. Um, there are also names that which I, um, Kamchak, Cham, Kamchanda, Kamchanda, or Manchanda. Um, and if you have no question, um, and then there are a couple of names I could not read because in, in I think in, uh, in the, in Greek, um, uh, um. Can I ask one simple yes, question please. which has been in my mind? You see, I am not specialist in your area, but uh, I have a wide interest in several technological problems. I have built instruments for satellites and so on. See, I was just wondering whether the kind of measurement and the database modeling you have developed by which you are able to predict several things. Uh, you are able to, the freak wave probabilities you just said, and possibility of tsunami. Boys are great. They are the actual measurement point. But question is, can one go on like this forever? I believe they, that's not the way. 
whether we can now use SAR data in open seas and test measurement of SARS with your data and build models so that the satellites can provide the same information on a continuous basis. Uh, and so question is whether your group is working on such problem where the SAR data is used uh, in the open seas and then using your BOE models and the real data which you are measuring, whether you can build the link models, calibrations and so on. There is some, some work going on in this direction. Thank you. <clears throat> Uh, if I don't uh, have a misunderstanding that I think your question is, uh, has me the um, incorporation with the satellite data with the real-time uh, measurements. Um, uh, we, we, in one of my slides, I mentioned that we also developed these uh, remote sensing devices by uh, microwave s band radar. And for that data, there's land pairs. There's not from sky, from satellite. And for that data, it's reached only um, five kilometers to, to the shoreline. And the pool is one point, or single point, there's only one point measurements. So sure, we need satellite measurements <clears throat> um, by, by SAR or by altimeter, by different um, sensors. And because that can um, can measure or can observe large area, like a crossure current in eastern part of Taiwan, when this crossure current passes through the island, and there we can see some wet wake after the island uh, in the red part of the island. For that uh, for that phenomena, it's not possible to observe by um, single point buoy or by coastal radar, and that needs these uh, satellite measurements. So we did cooperate with some people uh, in, in Chengdu University, different in, uh, different research center. They work on satellite measurements, and we provide the in situ data to them and we can compare with each other and can have more understanding on specific phenomena. So I hope I re reply you. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much. I, I did get the sense of uh, your direction. I, I want to add that uh, to follow up uh, the question that is a uh, Taiwan will be launching a, uh, a satellite uh, doing GNSSR, uh, and then the, that would be another main purpose is really to to study the the uh, I would say how to say it, the surface a uh, wind wind and ocean surface interaction, especially during the typhoon, you know, following the typhoon, especially near the 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 the, the eye, you know, the center of the typhoon uh, where the wind is very strong. And uh, I think that um, the, it will be launched uh, either this uh, end of this year or early next year. And the Professor Dong must know about it and because um, uh, they need such kind of buoy systems to, 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 pro to provide a, a, a ground truth. Yeah, and, and, uh, and it, can you, can you add a few, a few sentences more about this, uh, Professor Dong, in case you, you know much about it? Um, okay, I, I, I look at it. Thank you. And then the, uh, I think, I think I hope to, I think I will try to ask uh, an, um, a, a person, a researcher who is involved in this, uh, in this um, experiment mission uh, to come to talk, you know, maybe a couple months from now, and then you, we could, you know, we could all learn more about it. And uh, I think these are very interesting things that, you know, if um, such a, point measurements, but uh, would uh, provide critical information to calibrate, you know, calibrate their measurements, uh, the satellite and, and, and point measurements. So, okay, thank you. I mean, Professor Dong, you're, you're over time, <laughs> 10 minutes, but it's a wonderful talk. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, thank you. And uh, and Happy New Year. I mean, as I said earlier, a few, few, few days uh, we will have uh, the Lunar New Year. 
and uh, it's the year of the hare, and uh, uh, means uh, we will have uh, we have lots of good luck and 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 prosperity, yeah, and uh, and thank, thank you. you once again for the dong. Yeah, thank you everybody. Thank you. Thank you.